is uh, Major Jason Buzzer Coltis. I'm the uh, pilot for the F-16 Viper East demonstration team. All right, first question has to be, how did you get the name Buzzer? Well, I'm telling you, we have a tactical term, it's called cease buzzer, which basically means uh, polite terms for shut up on the radio. <laughs> and uh, I got that for saying one too many things at the wrong time on the radio, so they call me buzzer. Okay. Can you introduce the other uh, You bet. Folks what here? we have here is, uh, this is Captain Michael Steele. Rusty. He's our safety observer for the weekend. His name, uh, nickname is Rusty. And it's kind of obvious with last name being Steele. Right. He'll be on the ground down at Peachtree City uh, watching the show, listening on the radio with myself, making sure that we're safe throughout the uh, performance for the weekend. Uh, next to him is uh, Captain Dog Clifford, big red dog kind of thing. <laughs> and he's next year's demo pilot, so we got him out for the weekend. He's doing some training and uh, going to be observing what he's getting himself into over the next two years. <coughs> uh, next to him is uh, Senior Airman Lindenberg, David Lindenberg. We call him Puppy due to those droopy cheeks. We're working on that. Uh, he's our assistant crew chief for the weekend. Next to him is uh, Staff Sergeant Brian O'Connor. He's our avionics specialist. Uh, and basically all the wiring in the jet and all the avionics, he's the one that makes it go, uh, which means he's probably the smartest one on the team. You didn't give me any little name on the side there. We call him OC, and that's kind of original for O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> that's about as funny as it gets. And, and we've already met you. And then you've already met Joe Moore. He, he makes the show happen. All right, we're going to have to take a pause here as a, as a plane takes off. Now, is Dobbins used as a, I've noticed quite a few planes going in and it out sure of here. It sure is. They do. They fly the C-9s out of here, uh, as well as the Navy flies some F-18s. Uh, and they fly, I believe it's some uh, C-21s, some little small Learjets that they fly uh, executives and other uh, DVs around the country in the different branches. As well as the Martin Marietta plant for the F-22 is here. So you'll see some jet aircraft, premier jet aircraft, flying out of here every now and then. Can you tell us a little bit about the plane? You bet. Uh, the Mighty F-16 aircraft. Uh, this is at Block 50. There's different uh, blocks which basically are models to the aircraft. Uh, this block of aircraft is designed for the SEED mission, Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses. Uh, we carry on this aircraft. This is the slick down version, meaning it doesn't have any external gas tanks, stores, weapons, or missiles on it. It's pretty uh, kind of just slick. We do that when we uh, fly the demo so that we can max perform the airplane give the folks a nice show. Uh, normally on the airplane what we'll do is on the ends of the wingtips we'll put some radar missiles, we'll come in, we'll put some heat seeking missiles, we'll come in one more station, we'll put some uh, bombs, and we'll put some external gas tanks on the aircraft, uh, and generally a centerline ECM pod or electronic countermeasures pod underneath the center of the aircraft. Up on the uh, front of the inlet here on the airplane as well we will uh, bolt on a couple of other components that we use while we're flying and doing our harm targeting missions. And how long have you been flying? Been in the Air Force for 13 years, been flying the F-16 for almost all of that. Been on the uh, demo team here, flying around the country and the world for about the last two years. We're wrapping up our last five shows, starting off with Peachtree City this weekend. 